Hi everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank, and today we're going to go over a quick tip for updating the firmware on your Alphatron viewfinder. There are going to be three things you're going to need to do this. First, we're going to need a laptop, a USB, and of course our Alphatron. So a good place to get started is to look at the Alphatron itself and to see where in the menus you can actually see what your current firmware version is. Uh, at the time of this recording, we're going to update this to uh, version 5. So I'm going to go and click on my menu button, and I'm going to take the jog wheel down one click, and at the bottom of my screen here, I have FPGA, then 0 0.2, and MCU 0 0.2. Those are the firmware versions that are now currently in my Alphatron. As I said, we're going to update this to version 5 now. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna put my USB key into my laptop. And here we can see I have downloaded the uh, folder from Alphatron. And you'll notice you have these two files here. One is a .bin and one is a .bit. And these two must go into the USB key in order for the update to take place. So I'm gonna select both of those and I'm gonna drag them over to my USB key. And now we're ready to put that into the Alphatron. Now that I have the USB key ready, I can go ahead and put it into the Alphatron. It is important to note that you must have this, uh, the Alphatron must be powered down before you put the USB key in. So I'm gonna put the key in. I'm now going to power it up and I get my signal, I'm gonna hit my menu, I'm gonna jog down one click, and now I am going to select the RS-232 type and go over to upgrade and tell it to go ahead and upgrade. As I had mentioned, you are gonna have three phases for this update. So this USB is gonna blink three times for each phase of the update. So I have powered down my Alphatron and taken out the USB. I've powered back up, gone into my menu, and I've scrolled down into my menu. At the bottom, I see, in fact, that I have had an update. My FPGA uh, is now 0 0.5, and my MCU is 0 0.4. So we have, in fact, updated the firmware on our Alphatron. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.